these guys are awesome! I love how they move! So cool! Sorry, Marl. Kneecaps! Get tranked on! <laughs> I want to pick up all these guns for mad, uh, mad Drebin points. It's fat cash, y'alls. Someone behind me? Are you injured? This gun is not ideal. There you go, that way. Uh, I don't want to go lethal though, but this we need to do some sort of automatic track system. Meryl's in trouble. Go back, Snake. Oh, that's cool. They're on the ceiling. Meryl's in trouble. Where, 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 where? Well, we'll stay non lethal for till it's like unreasonable to do so. Yeah, exactly. The hell? Move! Fucking question my head. Thanks for the caps, Ali, but uh, the codes didn't arrive, that's all. Right, where are we going, team? You guys seem to just be stood here. Are we going to kill a certain amount? I want to collect all those guns for that sweet Drebin money. Yeah, buddy! Clear. I haven't got many rounds in this left. Oh, you overslept to miss the beginning? Oh, sorry, Ali. I did tweet out. But, uh, yeah, they didn't, um... The codes didn't arrive for Rooney yet. Emma chased them uh, a couple of times last night, but... Nothing we could do, so we had to move Metal Gear Solid 4 up a bit. Got noodles. Dad. 
down then? Yep. I quite like these frog enemies, Andy. They're very cool. Oh man, where's the bathroom? <laughs> oh, he's farting right next to me. It's like being near my wife. I'm out of non-lethal ammo. I don't even know, dude. Well, that's it. That's the non lethal out of the window. <laughs> well, I'm in shooty shooty mode. I've got to take these fools down. Down Frenchies. Ah! Alright, these are girls, by the way. These are ladies. Or at least some of them are girls. Might be girls and boys. Who am I to judge? A wall fell on him, and now his shit-stained pants stare up at us proudly. Snake, knocked out. You, am I picking him up? Is that what you want me to do? A 5.7. Pistol that fires the new 5.7mm rounds. Ready it with L1. Okay. I'm not sure if the game wants me to do something. Is he up? Okay, she wakes me. This is a cool gameplay sequence, actually. It's better than most of the MGSs. This is what was uh, seeing this now. Now, like the game, the actual game console quality has gone up, and they could do more stuff. is much more fun. All right, where did they go? He was knocked down here. Did they go this way. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> nice super crouch at the back. Please stop drawing attention to that. That is just crazy. That is absolutely crazy that this is such a big thing during this.
It's a horrors of what? Sorry, bro. I mean... That was just the way that I had to go down, I'm afraid. Do I have to lie down to recover HP? Well, that's a tank. Revan? I can use some guns. This actually feels like modern era gunfighting. It's way more fun than it was in 3. <laughs> I mean, even though it is a console, so I feel I still feel like a pleb, but I don't feel like uh, PS, you know, PS1 stuff. Yeah, this is... It's so much more fun than what the rat that we had to deal with back in the day. It is miles better. <laughs> Meryl's a bit of a badass now. Remember when she couldn't even fire a gun at the beginning? Oh, wait! Was Akiva the guy she went to fire the gun at and she couldn't? Is that who it is? That came back to me as a memory. Hey. I would not put my foot in that guy's shitty ass. No, that was you. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I can't remember that. Oh, oh. Jump I, already. <laughs> Wait. There's loot. Do you remember the prison guard who went to the toilet on Ninja? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. God, like, that's a callback, though. Really? I mean, that's such a minor part of the game. To say that that's a recurring character or something? I do remember that now you said it, yeah. I mean, considering a character who makes a return... Gun Carter. I guess that's supposed to highlight their nano machines coordination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The nano machine network inside each unit member's body. Yeah, I, we can get it from the gameplay. You don't need to, uh... They can see what I see. <laughs> in case you didn't get it, here's the information in your face! Is that part of the system, too? With SOP, my team can literally operate as one. See you later, Julia. Well, except for a certain someone who's not much of a team player. So, what do you think? Is your age of heroes finally over? Hmm. I'm no hero. 
Never was. Never will be. You haven't changed at all, Snake. But... Your body... Are you gonna be alright? This get-up doubles as a muscle suit. Oh, it's like that thing Christy and Bale made so, so he could kick walls. Remember that in that movie? That was weird, wasn't it? Liquid's camp is up ahead. <laughs> I'll mark it on your map. <coughs> was it in Rises, that one? Akiba! One man's blunder can compromise the whole team. I'm sorry, Commander. Be careful, Snake. No, oh, it's Dark Knight Rises. He straps like uh, a Forrest Gump device to his leg, and now he can break walls with his, his, like, his kicks. It's a bit strange. It's a bit strange. Anybody see that Reddit thread yesterday about the most inappropriate scenes in movies? And, like, number one was that uh, really rapey scene in Transformers 4 <laughs> about the Romeo and Juliet thing. <laughs> I agree, man. Of all the films I've ever seen, it's the worst scene ever. Otacon, I know where Liquid is. Yeah, I'm confirming the location. It's to the north of where you are. Meryl's really changed, hasn't she, Snake? She's a lot more self-assured. <laughs> I wonder how much of that has to do with the system. The senses you used to develop through extended training and experience can now be obtained without even working for them. Seems once you're under the system's control, you don't even need experience at all. It even beats that VR training that was all the rage a few years back. Yeah. The growing need for PMCs has led to the creation of a more reliable, cost-effective supply of elite soldiers. It's also made the child soldier phenomenon more problematic than ever. Can the nanomachines do anything to counteract post-traumatic stress disorder? Good question. They might provide a degree of psychological stability. You'd think so? That geek kid, Akiba, he was really starting to lose it. And technologically, the system should be able to optimize each soldier's personality traits. And that big guy, he didn't seem to be feeling any pain at all. Augmenting the soldier's existing experience and psychological fortitude. But a soldier's gotta have more than that. The times have changed, Snake. Just like Meryl. <sighs> Snake. Hurry to the PMC camp. Based on what Meryl told us, Liquid should be there. Ooh. Mate. It's got a point, though. You're just implanting information. Loot! Not yet. Okay, time to head for the surface. There's always loot in the corners. It's Metal Gear Solid. Thank you. That's 1,500 uh, points from whatever he's called. Can that see? Look at all these points we've got. Pick up the statue on the left wall. Uh, statue? I don't see no stinking statue. Are these just collectibles? If they are, I'm not bothered. No, don't worry. Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm not a big collectibles guy. The only game I've actually recently done all the collectibles in has been Assassin's Creed uh, Black Flag and Blood Dragon. But Blood Dragon is so worth because you get the Terminator gun, the Robocop gun. Oh, so good. No, it's in my muscle suit. 
You guys never wore a muscle suit before? They have inv They have permanent inventory space. It's pretty dank actually. I have not played Assassin's Creed Unity. We could check it out together and have a, a fun time with whatever buggy nonsense that game is. Is there an alternative path out of here or is this the way we're going? Not that I get it, Archon. You want me to go through this way? Uh, can I change my dress? Camouflage. I don't appear to have the ability to do that. And all I can do is change this best. I'm going with khaki. It's not even buggy, it's just terrible. Yeah, I ran out of non lethal ammo, which is a bit of a bummer. Oh crap, it's a straight cutscene just here. There's me looking for some alternative path. Yeah, maybe laughing that, maybe. I'm up for playing like AAA terrible games sometimes. There's definitely a fun aspect to it. But if the game itself is bad, then that's not. Alright, we're going to have to skip some Drebin points, boys. Uh, I don't know if you can buy ammo with Sester. I hope not. Let's have a look. Let's science it. Let's have a look. What does Drebin have? Handguns, some machine guns, rifles, firearms, explosives, etc. A copy of Playboy. He does sell ammo. I really don't like that. He does sell ammo. Master key, custom parts, a suppress, and you can buy suppressors. Yeah, I don't like this gunshot model at all. It doesn't seem to fit with Metal Gear Solid. Hey! There you go. Thank you. <laughs> War has changed. Yeah, exactly. War has changed. Can anybody check for me? When did uh, Resident Evil 4 come out? Was this kind of vendor system quite the rage at the time? Like, it's about the time regenerating health became such a major deal, I think. It seems to line up with being about that kind of era. Right, let's go up the ladder that was up here. Yeah, good of choice. It's an interesting idea, the good of choice. The good of choice system uh, is generally quite good. But does the game like this need this many varieties of guns? We've already got a huge amounts of variety of guns. By the way, by the way, it's the system. I'm gonna that last. I'll live, you know. I've played most of the Resident Evil series. The games I haven't played are Code Veronica. Um. Might be about it. That aren't like spin off games or something like that. That tank's dead, right? Oh. All I can say is I never had an issue with the way uh, weapons were handled in 1, 2, or 3. For the change to it, I knew. Especially the idea of sending a little drone off magically to instantly get me ammo. Uh, I 
what is the game plan here? I don't know. I don't know. Is there a way off this roof? I don't think we want to get down into there. Looks bad, feels bad, yo. Back me up. This guy's friendly for me now. This guy friendly because I oh uh, okay because I killed some of the other guys. I kind of did phone a friend by helping the rebels out. Liberty options. I mean, this. Yeah, I mean, I think we're just gonna have to. I'm just gonna have to ignore it. It does bother me. The, the gun system does bother me. Okay. Uh, but I'm just gonna let it go. It bothered me in Resident Evil 4 as well. I think Zero had a similar system, if I remember right. My, I don't think it was as obtuse as 4. What are you buying? What are you selling? By the way, not that big video. So we still want to be heading this way. Let's go uh, down here. But war has changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do like the setting, though, that, like, uh, that's militia. We don't want to kill him. I like the idea that Snake is, like, probably shitter in terms of his... Um, his soldier quality is the Meryl now. That's kind of cool. Like, he can't do all that funky shit they can do. Militia. Yeah, four is uh, Leon. And Ashley. She called Ashley the president's daughter. Leon! <laughs> Leon! Uh, I can't remember. It was Chris 5? I can't remember the name of the girl that was in 5. Me and, me and Andy actually tried to play 6. And we got... I think we lasted about an hour. And just couldn't... Yeah, you could do this sliding move on the floor where you could scissor each other in 6. Me and Andy found that really fun. We just kind of did that for a while. Shiva, that was it, yeah, Shiva. Well, now I think about it, what I said before, like Awesomeness has said, is Kojima really didn't want to make this one? Is this, I guess this is like, die, snake, die. <laughs> the best way for me to not have to do this again, and of course he ended up doing it again anyway, was uh, is to just murder the shit out of him. Oh, really, Rem? Yeah. You actually went to a physical store? Yeah, Resident Evil 7's great. I can't wait to... I want to do a Vive playthrough of Resident Evil 7. Get the full VR shebang. I just want to see Mama in VR, man, up close. No, this is a bulldozer. I don't know what that is. It looks like Solidus. Oh, is it the doggy from Revengeance? Oh, oh. Oh. 
Well, it's kind of like the dog in the Avengers. Oh, we get to see the bosses? Nice. Solid decisions. This is the boss introduction, boys! Here. It can't be. Interesting. Is that? No, no, it can't be. No, it's not Mantis. Mantis is ripped, though. Hey, I'm doing Michael Keaton for this. Vulture. Hey, you having that? Bit of blue. Why is that crying all the time? That's gonna have some horrific story to it. <coughs> Multiple arms like that chick from Revengeons. Cool. Okay, I'm starting to see where a lot of the boss inspiration from Revengeons came from. You don't know it's bloody Blade Wolf, mate. Well, I said that, and everyone got triggered. Why? Because <laughs> I it said it's like the dog from Revengeons. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah, it is. I know. Shut up. Idiots, mate. <laughs> okay, so there's. A chick with solidus arms, there's a psycho guy, a dog guy, and somebody who says rage repeatedly. So, so there's a retard in here. Uh, he's probably going to be the most dangerous. 